What's good YouTube? It's your boy Kozak and I'm back with yet another video and today I'm going to be telling you guys how I got rid of my dark hyperpigmentation from shaving and I'm here to help you guys get rid of yours. If you're like me, um, you've probably been scouring the internet and just searching, scrolling through YouTube. This is probably your 12th video and you're actually looking for a solid, like hard solution to your dark hyperpigmentation from shaving as a guy and um, you just can't find it. You can't find a solid solution and I'm here to give you that solid solution. So for the longest I've been looking for one, I feel like no one on the internet is actually giving anyone any good like solid solutions to this issue. And it took me a long time to figure out how to properly get rid of mine. And I feel like I finally figured it out. So I'm here to share it with you guys. So be sure to leave this video a like. And, um, and I really do want you guys to comment down below if this helped you at all if it if it did help you please come back to this video after watching it after trying trying this out for about a month um or or longer um come back and please let me know um your results please first thing first i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of background about what i got going on here so um as far as facial hair i'll, I'll tend to grow a mustache and i'll tend to grow a, uh, this little chin hair here i don't really grow like a full beard on the side i don't really grow any hair on the side of my face but I'll grow this mustache and I'll grow this beard and it'll get out of control. Um, so I tend to I tend to shave it and what tends to try to happen is my mustache will try to connect with my beard right here. So I'll have like a whole goatee thing going on and I don't like that. So I'll shave this area of my face like every single day. And I've noticed after shaving for a while that this area start was starting to get darker and I was starting to question like, why is this area getting darker? And at first I wasn't paying much mind up until um, at one point, it just like got extremely like dark to the point where you could visit, you could like visually see like a strong difference in like what was going on here to the point where um, my aunt, one day we were like having like an outing and my aunt was like, what's going on right here? And I was like, you know what? Like, I gotta do something about this. I gotta do something about this. I gotta figure out what's going on. I gotta, I gotta do something about it. And so I started scouring the internet for answers and could not find one. And, um, and it took me a really long time to finally like, be able to start to get rid of this. And, um, and I'm here to tell you how I did it. So first thing first was, um, the way I was shaving. So, um, the traditional way I was shaving is I would use clippers. Um, clippers, clippers are a good way to shave in my opinion. Um, it, it's not really, it's not really too much of an issue, but eventually over time from continuous like friction and, and the hair being cut and it growing in different areas and different different like angles, it, uh, it starts to look darker there. It starts to like visual, visually look darker there. Um, and so I stopped using clippers and then I tried like using like an actual razor and like close shaving with shaving cream and everything. And immediately when I started doing that, it just, everything just got worse. I do not recommend shaving with a razor. If, you, if you're like me, some people it works, it might work perfectly fine for you and you might, you might never have had an issue with it. And if, and if that's the case, then just go ahead and continue doing what you're doing. But for me, it would start to give me like hyperpigmentation and dark shadow cast over right here, right? So, um, so I stopped doing that, and um, and then from there, I was like, how else is there a way to shave? How do I shave without like having so much friction on my face? And so um, I found an answer, and the first answer I found was this here magic shaving powder. So this is actually a shaving powder for men who are like allergic to like razors and like shaving the traditional way. Um, and um, I'm not actually allergic to like razors or nothing like that, but this is like, in my opinion, this is the best way to shave because there's no friction there. I will tell you something about this product. It smells absolutely horrible. It's like the worst smelling thing you'll ever smell. It's like, smells like boiled eggs, it smells like straight up eggs, like, if someone was just in your house cooking eggs all day, just boiling eggs all day, that's what it smells like. So I definitely recommend mixing this solution like outside or like not in the house because it's it's absolutely horrible. It smells absolutely horrid. Um, but I'll tell you how to go ahead, how this product works. So you'll grab this powder, you'll put like a, a half a tablespoon or a full tablespoon, whatever it recommends on there. Um, in a container or something like that, whatever, a cup or whatever you wanna do. And then you'd mix the same amount of water. So if you use 
half a tablespoon, use half a tablespoon of this powder and then half a tablespoon of water. You mix it and turn it into this like creamy solution. You take it and then you'd rub it on whatever area you're trying to shave. And then you set a five minute timer and you'd wait five minutes and then um, just leave it on your face. And then you'd get a like a hot warm towel and you just wipe it off and the hair will come straight off. So it's basically like Nair for men. Um, the next product to actually remove the hyperpigmentation and dark marks is this product here, uh, Carol White. So um, this product contains hydroquin, 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 um, I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it can, it contains two percent of that. And what hydroquinoin is 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 actually a bleaching cream. It's actually like a bleaching. Um, product or chemical or whatever and it has two percent of it and that there is the reason i'd recommend uh, carol white so what i do um and what this is, is is basically a bleaching cream so um what i do is i'll take a little bit of this i'll put it in my hand and what i'll do is mix it with vitamin c oil so carol white and any vitamin c oil anything that's pure vitamin c oil you can get this from any beauty supply store i'm also going to put the direct link to amazon for these products um in the description if i can't find this exact one i'll find another one for you guys okay but it's just it's just pure vitamin c oil okay um and i will tell you when i was using uh carol white before it was not it was not doing what it what it's meant to do it was i was not seeing any sort of results i didn't see results up until i started mixing vitamin c oil with it and once i started doing that it's like the product just immediately started to work like i literally could see results like within like four days of, of putting it on at night and um and yeah it, it it just started working immediately for me and i recommend doing this using it using this product for about a month using the whole off like using the shaving powder as well as using the product at night using carol white and mixing it with vitamin c oil at night um for about a month and um give it about a month um but i honestly do believe that you'll start to see a difference within like two weeks at least i will tell you right now do not go outside with this product on. It says it on the back of the product that you do not want to be in direct sunlight. So I recommend doing this. I always do this at night. So I recommend doing it at night when you're asleep, when, when it can stay on your skin for a good amount of time. Um, so uh, definitely apply it at night. Don't go outside or you can apply it during the day. Just make sure not to be outside or like, I don't know, like in the sun directly. Um, and And yeah. Please, please, please be sure to come back to this video if it does work for you and just let me know down below. I'll, I'll respond and um, and I'm sure other people will respond to you too. Um, and tell me whether it actually did work for you and if it does work for you, that's great. And um, and just let me know your results and, and your experience with, with all three of these products. And and um, yeah, I'll be sure to reply and uh, you'll, give, you'll be giving other people advice too because I could not for the longest figure out like how to, how to get rid of this. And I recommend this Carol White product and the vitamin C product. Do not do not use this product forever. It's meant for you to be using it for like a month and that's it. I feel like um, if you use it for longer than that, then it's too much. So don't use this product forever. But I, you can put this product on every night for about a month or however long until, until your hyperpigmentation is gone. And even now you can still see a little bit, but not really too much. But, um, but yeah, that's what I recommend. Um, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to leave this video a like if it was actually helpful to you. If I actually gave, if I actually gave you any solid advice or any solid solution, please leave this video a like um, so that it can rank better on YouTube so that other people can see the video. Because I feel like you can scroll through like how to get rid of dark shaving marks, how to get rid of dark hyperpigmentation, how to, and you're just gonna get a bunch of like recommendations and just like weird. Stuff like use turmeric and da 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 and da 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 da. And I'm sure they do help, but it's not a solid, like, quick solution. It's like something that you have to do for like a year or a couple years to get rid of. So um, I feel like this is a solid, like, quick fix to an issue like that. So um, be sure to leave this video a like, be sure to comment, and be sure to check out some other videos. I do skincare, hair care, whatever. Check out some of my other videos. I have like uh, quick ways to grow your hair, etc. Um, but it's been Kozak and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.